næste Bøje Larsens blog. Jeg håber, du vil glæde sig over den video, jeg præsenterer i dag. This video is a follow-up to my video on this channel with the title Slim Yourself, part 1. In that video, I explained my slimming results. And I also promised that in a part 2 about slimming, I would explain my methods to achieve the good results I have had with my slimming cure. This is what I will do in this video. But let me first say a few words about my cure in general. 1. I have invented the cure myself, using what I over the years have read and experienced. 2. I am not a medical doctor, but a doctor in sociology, nor am I a dietist. If you are in doubt, then ask a medical doctor or a dietist for her or his professional advice. Some might like my ideas, some not. I guess the advice of both of these groups is to advise you to exercise more and eat varied, not taking in too many calories. 3. But I wanted to slim, not by exercising or eating food, which I do not like. You could say that I wanted to slim myself by sitting on my sofa. Look at this figure. It shows my weight development in the last years. To the left, you see that some years ago, I had a weight of around 120 kilos. On March 24, 2022, my weight was down to 97.5 kilos. That fall was not caused by a special cure, but was the result of my being divorced. In the figure, I call it phase one after the divorce. It is normal for both men and women to try to lose weight and also actually achieve weight loss after a divorce. There are several reasons for that. One, much activity in a marriage and in a stable love relationship is about making and eating food. The result is that you get fat. Two, after a divorce, you have to make your food yourself. So, you might make and also eat less food. Therefore, you get slimmer. Three, and most important, you are most likely back on the dating market where you need to look fit and attractive. So, you slim yourself in one way or another. The only slimming idea that I used in phase one was the so-called Atkinson cure, which I will explain in a moment. It does not focus on eating less, but says that you should avoid the many calories in things like bread and other bakery products, pizzas, etc. Now, as I write in the figure, I lost weight from March 24th last year, that is 2022, to a total low on the July 10th last year. That is the result of my cure, which I will explain in this video. In the figure, I call it phase 2, using my cure. If you look at the numbers, you can see that I lost 15 kilos in around two and a half months. That shows the efficiency of my cure. And I have been able to maintain that relatively low level. A few days ago, yesterday, June 2nd, 2023, my weight was 86.2 kilos. In the figure, I call it phase three, slight increase. I consider this a good result. Google says that with my height and being a man, a good weight for me is 85.2 kilos. So, I am closer now to that ideal weight than in July last year. You can judge by yourself from my picture shown to the right, taken less than a week ago, if I am too slim or too fat, or seems to have an okay weight. Now, what are my methods? The number one element in my cure is Intermittent fasting, one should change between periods of fasting and periods of eating, where I, in my case, fasted for 16 hours and was allowed to eat during an 8-hour window. The point is that during the 16 fasting hours, blood sugar will be falling, and the body answers by eating some of your fat. So, simple. I found a free app on Google Play Store called BodyFast that is built on intermittent fasting. I assume that it also exists for Apple phones. That is a clever app, both slimming wise and psychologically. And I am not paid to promote it. When you sign up to the app, the app asks you if you really, really want to slim yourself. And then it makes you sign a contract with yourself about it. That is part of the psychological cleverness of the app. Nobody, no experts behind the app, will ever read what you have signed, I think. But somehow, you feel a little more committed. Who wants to cheat oneself? Then you are asked to define your eight hours for eating. Again, nobody, I think, cares. 
but you sort of make another contract with yourself. And then, in the coming days of the period, you can report if you have followed it. Later, I realized with myself that it was only an app and that I could fast intermittently by myself. Away from the psychological thing, I think intermittent fasting helped me a lot to achieve my results without any exercising, or at least only the exercise you can do on a sofa. The black thing is for strengthening your arm muscles and the yellow thing is to strengthen your hand muscles. The second element in my cure is borrowed from the earlier mentioned Robert Atkins. The Atkins diet is a low carbohydrate, high protein approach to weight loss, which means eating meat, fish, and even fat. It involves reducing carbohydrate intake while increasing protein and fat consumption. The idea behind the diet is that by restricting carbohydrates, bread, etc., as mentioned, the body will enter a state of ketosis, as it is called, where it primarily burns stored fat for energy instead of glucose, which is the same as sugar. Robert Atkins died in 2003 at the age of 72 after suffering a severe head injury from a fall. A story I have heard tells that he, at the time of his death, had a weight of 140 kilos. So, slimming gurus cannot always follow their preachings. I think there is still a company bearing his name selling his ideas. The third element in my slimming cure is that I every day take some chlorophyll drops, which one can buy at Amazon. They are supposed to reduce your appetite. I do not know if they work. I think so, but my slimming cure included this. The fourth element in my slimming cure is NO alcohol. At least no beer, a lot of calories, sweet wine, same. If you must drink, then vodka with no Coca-Cola and so on with sugar in. Vodka drinkers are slim people. I think that is scientifically proven. The fifth element of my cure is minor. Coming from Atkinson, if you, say in a restaurant, wants to eat some nice bread they are offering, then put butter on. It reduces the appetite. Good luck with your slimming. Make an agreement with yourself to slim yourself a certain number of kilos to a certain date. The best you could do is to put it in the comments section of this video, saying something like, I, name, promise to go down from XX kilos to YY kilos by November 1st this year. Then you have really committed yourself and publicly. Then you are more or less forced to follow up on your promise. And I do not mean this as a joke.